All right, you guys, we're here at the left wing tip. And we'll just kind of walk around the airplane. There's no hail damage. Top of the wings look real nice and straight. Oh, we'll do, we'll shoot the bottom. The bottom isn't all wrinkled up or anything weird. LED lights. The glass is real nice. I don't see any dents in the leading edge. I have a blanket over the window so I can go inside and video the panel. Sorry, the light is not great in here and it's really cold out. It was snowing on the way here. Um, doors real nice and clean, no cracks. There was a piece of tape on there, I'm not sure why. Um, outside air temp probe. Um, I showed showed them some, you know, there's some little things like this. Um, aux power so you can jump start it. And we talked about some of the, um, so normally, you know, cowlings usually have like doubler patches and stuff. And this cowling is very nice and clean. Um, as you come down here, you'll see some places like, you know, where there's some paint missing, some spots, but again, no big ugly doublers and real respectful cowling. The prop is fairly new and I have the prop logbook scanned and all the other logbooks. Yeah, here you have a little bit of paint missing. Has a new muffler on it. Uh, cow flaps work really nice and smooth. Um, I don't see any dents on this leading edge. This uh, wingtip got a little bit of rash right here. And then there's a scratch right here, as you can see. Okay, well. We'll go inside on the other side. All right, let me get up on the table here. You can see, um, we'll start out here. Ailerons, there's no doublers. Trailing edges aren't all cracked out. That was just a real common thing. You know, they just cracked and broke over the years. But it's a fairly low time airframe. No hail damage. Um, you can see right here, those are just lateral rivets. Um, we talked about some of these, you know, there's a crack in the paint right here. Missing paint there, or there. The rudder and uh, vertical are really nice. This plastic is nice here. There's one crack on the corner of it. And again, trailing edges, trim tabs real nice. Um, top plastics are real good. That was something that cracked a lot on these airplanes. 
Uh, this tail cone got real beat up and cracked, but this is actually a metal one. And I don't know if that was in the year change or some of them were plastic and they were just garbage. But that one's real nice. Oh, and wheel pants are up here, right there. So it'll be easy to throw those on. Okay, we'll stay back here for a sec. This trailing edge, real nice, no cracks, no doublers. Um, this plastic was replaced. See how nice that skin is on the tail. The paint is real nice on these. This back window looks I, I doubt it's stock. I'm sure this has been replaced at some point. Um, the only window, this one has some scratches right here. You can kind of see, probably throwing bags in the back or something. But it's not bad. Okay, baggage compartment. Scott's keeping the battery tender on it. The side's kind of dirty. Um, this plastic's real nice. The door tri um, trim. All the plastics inside are really nice. It was a real common thing for them to be just horrible cracked and just kind of a mess. And like we talked about, a lot of that was from sitting outside. Uh, door panels, real nice and clean. That glass is real nice. A couple little, you know, scratches and uh, stuff. Okay, we'll go inside. We got the back seat. Um, back seat's real nice, real soft leather. Really awesome where they put the the intercom, and it is a four place intercom. window trims real nice the other one is too um, it has those real nice stainless steel vents well they're probably aluminum headliner is real nice absolutely looks perfectly clean um, and you can see this seat these are articulated seats so you can crank them up and down and you can see there's probably about three inch difference here between these two because I cranked that one down and I'm six foot and I fit. There's a lot of room between my head. Okay. Let's see. Well, I'm not sure if I can turn the flash on here. Panel's real nice. The flap indicator still works. We ran it up and down. Panel's really nice and clean. You see a lot of these are just pretty rough. Okay, everything's up and running. And then we'll go turn the lights on. Yeah. Be a real easy airplane at night. Everything's working nice. That flashing there, that's the fuel. It's asking if you filled the tanks. And you can just click and fill it, or you can add in how many gallons you put in. Um, the 430 is working, and you can see Boom, it's on GPS.
panel down here is nice and clean. Um, plastic to the trim wheels. You have your rudder trim and elevator. Cow flaps are working really nice and smooth. Um, oh, I'm sorry, you guys. I don't have good light here. You know, like we talked about before, the carpet, you know, has a little bit of discoloration here, but it's really not bad at all. Okay, so we're going to go avionics off. Turn off those lights. Master off. And it does have a map light here. Um, they have nice handles to get in. Those aren't broke. Um, the plastics up by the vents are good. And then we, we... Let me move this blanket off here. We talked about these has these nice Rosen, I think, visors. Has two of them. Those are actually, I think you'd be surprised how, many, how much you use them. I don't like wearing sunglasses under my headset, and so I like to use the visors. I just find sunglasses are just kind of a pain. Uh, and you can see the art articulated seat here. That's this mechanism here. And I got in it. And, you know, I'm about six foot. I'm exactly six foot, actually. I don't know what this about stuff is. But, you know, I had six inches between my knees. Uh, all right, we'll go over the left wing. Um, no doublers, no cracks. There's one spot right here of hanger rash. It's not cracked or anything. This aileron is nice, except for there's one spot on it where, you know, they backed it into something, pulling it in the hangar. But, kind of the nature of an old airplane. Can you imagine? It's over half a million dollars for a newer 182 and they actually have a lower useful load than these old 182s because they made them so heavy nowadays anyways we're back here um, yeah you guys it's just a nice airplane I'll send you the logs and there she is